go. Fill them in black first. Just dampen that black pencil. Press quite hard now. You don't want to make it too damp or else it will run and it'll make a bit of a mess. So we've got to be careful here. Once this is dry, we just pat it with a slight bit of colour and that will look quite realistic that they're people way in the distance and you cannot see exactly what they're wearing. Right, so I'm going to make him have his arm like that and maybe one down like that. His head. Definitely best to practice this first so that you can get the proportions right. Right, her hand swinging out. The child's hand is swinging up. Okay, that head's a little big. <laughs> there we go. So don't try and do hair and details like that because they're just too far away to see that kind of thing. People are still gonna need their own shadow falling. So remember it's falling this way. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the purple. Maybe a bit of blue in there, won't matter. And I'm gonna bring it straight, like a straight line. You're not gonna see a big round patch because we're too far away to see that kind of width of, of what their shadow would look like. Now the little child's shadow is a little shorter, depending where you place them. And this one is gonna go right behind there or even overlap that one and be taller. Wash off your brush and we can add some clothing. We're not gonna have to touch the head, but I'm gonna take a nice bright red. I've gotta make sure that's nice and dry first. If it's not dry, this won't work. And we'll give, we'll give her a red top. And so it's not gonna look bright red. It's just gonna blend in with that black and suggest that she's wearing a red top. Now, I'm not gonna do the legs or her jeans or anything like that. Just that bit there. So it'll be like a faded kind of red, which will be true to the distance that we are away from them. Blue or an orange jumper for the man. I'm gonna go for the dark blue. Might even add a little light blue just so you can see it a bit. There we go, that's a little brighter. Good, wonderful. Well, now we're ready to do our reflections. So now just remember the reflection is on the wet sand and it can only go in this strip here where that lemon crossed over the blue of our water and it should be nice and dry for this. So for our reflections, we're gonna use some chalk pastels and you just scribble a little tiny bit on your practice paper and then you get your cotton bud and we're gonna do our doors first. So it's gotta line up. I'm gonna go for my blue first, just a tiny touch and just in that area, I dust blue. Now, if it's too strong later, I'm gonna to have to fix that. Turn my cotton bud over Going to take some orange, do the door right in line with it. A little bit of orange. If it's too strong, just wipe it back. Now I'm gonna do my stripes. It's probably easier if you have a line or a dotted line just to remind you where, how far that's gonna come. And don't make it too strong. Just line it up. That's as far as it's gonna go. Now I've already got blue on this side, so I'm gonna use that again for my blue stripes. Probably easier just to turn your board like that. And here we go, I'm gonna start some stripes. And just bring them to that line. So I've only got space for two here. You might have a space for three, or maybe only one, but that won't matter. 
I'm ready to do my red. So I'm gonna swap cotton buds. Get a little red, just a little. Easy to overdo this step. That's about it. The only other thing that we need to reflect is the people. So what we're gonna do is just take our cotton bud, mix a little bit of blue with a little bit of red. And remember, we're not taking it from where their feet are. We're only taking it from this color here. Okay, now that's a little strong, so if yours is a little strong like mine, just take a cloth and just wipe it a little. Dust it off. It's got to be something that you don't stare at, but it's there. Wow. Looking so good now that we've got our reflections in. We don't need to add door handles or anything like that. You probably wouldn't see that much detail. So when I'm looking at this overall and any adjustments I need to make, this is the time to make it. So for me, I still feel like there's not enough highlight along the top of the light blue of my water. So I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny touch of white and I'm holding it sideways and just adding a little more highlight on the water. Now, I'm just being fussy here. I mean, you really don't need to do this. So there is one final step you can do. You don't actually have to, but in my original, I had put a kite coming from one of the figures on the beach. So let's give that a try. First, take your practice paper because we really wanna know how to construct the kite correctly and the way the string is going to have a bit of shape to it. So. Just pretend we have our character right here somewhere, standing on the beach, and we wanna create a diamond sort of shape. Not too big, because remember these figures are quite far away. And then you wanna put a cross like that. And now wherever the man or woman's arm is, you wanna make that string flow from the base of that kite to the body. Now, the string wouldn't pull straight tight unless it was a really strong breeze. Most string that's attached to a kite would have what's called drag, just from the wind blowing and things like that. And then you can put a tail on your kite as well, and just these little decorations, if you like. Let's give that a go. Here we go, I'm going to map in where my kite will sit and draw in the crossbar. And then I'm gonna look where the side of the man is, where his arm or hand might be behind, in front of his body. And I'm just gonna work out where that drag of that string is gonna go. So I think it's gonna go about there. So I just swing that with that lead pencil. Just use lead first, just in case you wanna make some adjustments. And then I have my tail. While I'm waiting for that to dry, because I wanna mark in the crossbars and the shape of that kite with my black pencil. But while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna go back and touch up a little bit of extra red on the woman's jumper. As I can see, that's faded in just that little bit too much. So here we go. It's not totally dry, but it's dry enough for me just to add those little details. And I'm gonna make sure I do the wiggly decoration and then I'm gently going to run the line all the way to the figure. There we have it. 
beachfront.